Tonight's the last chance to weigh in on AT&T's push to stop landline service here in California. CBS 13's Hunter Sowers joining us now in studio with what's at stake and what happens next, Hunter? Yeah, as both of you know, state regulators, we have been following this and wrapped up the first two of those virtual public hearings about 20 minutes ago. But the final one, it starts in less than an hour and thousands of people, including local law enforcement, are calling on the Public Utilities Commission to reject this plan. We have been covering the issue for months and last year AT&T failed a petition filed rather to end its carrier of last resort obligation so we could stop offering traditional copper landline service around the state. The company says they want to focus on upgrading their wireless network to make it more reliable. Now, advocacy groups say the move would impact some half a million customers, including and especially those in those rural areas where cell phone service can be spotty and unreliable. The Nevada County Sheriff is among those speaking out against this plan, saying landlines are critical for emergency services. We're in a wildfire um, zoned area, a high risk for wildfire in Nevada County. And a lot of our community members rely on those landlines to be able to report uh, emergencies, ask for assistance. We also do the reverse where we're actually using that landline system to, to call them uh, on an automatic caller to, to give them instructions if we have emergencies. And I just think it would be a detriment. A lot of concerns there. The sheriff also says the maps that AT&T and other companies use to try and figure out which areas have cell phone service aren't always accurate because of the terrain and trees. Now AT&T says it will provide service indefinitely in areas that don't have any other options while other customers would stay connected for at least six months. So again, that final hearing with the CPUC is getting started at six tonight, so less than an hour. We're going to have all of the information on our website, CBS. 13 if you want to watch or call in and we should note no decision is expected by the CPUC until the fall but Marley a chance for people to have their voices heard and I know many want to because this has certainly gotten a lot of attention all right Hunter thank you